Hey everybody, Goat here again. Hog and I have uh, been playing more Call of Duty Ghosts, and he is busy tonight, so I'm just recording some videos here to get some information out to you. And this one here is going to cover squads. I already did one that told you about character creation and how you could set your squad up uh, with all the different characters. Uh, what's important here, uh, I've gone over to the uh, Xbox Live squads. And I'm going to go down to Squad HQ. Now, under the Create a Soldier, there's all my soldiers again. And what's important is you see they all have the different names. Now, those are what they'll show up as when they're in the game. Uh, when you're playing, you'll take over one of these, and that is the one that has a little asterisk next to it. And you can see the X button will say, play as squad member. And that way, then I'll have these three loadouts to me if I were to head in to play a game right now. So that's important to always make sure you know which one you're playing as. Um, next up, as you name them, you kind of want to give them different names. You don't probably want to give away exactly what they are. Like, you don't want to say... Uh, like, I have this one labeled as Sneaky Bear, but he's not actually the guy who is the Covert Ops. Uh, I don't know if that's useful or not, but it just humors me. Uh, you could probably even call them all the same name for all that really matters. Uh, but the important part being is giving them the different names so you can tell what they are when they're out there. Now, each one of these types will play according to the type of weapon they have. I've seen the light machine guns guys go sit in open areas and wait for people to run in front of them and mow them down. Uh, same thing with the marksman rifles. They will look for a vantage point where they can see around and try to pick people off from range. The short range guys will of course stumble around going around trying to mow anybody down at close range. So how you set them up is important. Also, speaking of how you set them up, when you go in here to the actual soldier, you see the gun icon next to loadout 1. That means that's the one he's going to use uh, if I'm not playing as him. You can change that by saying, uh, hitting the start button here, you see at the bottom next to back, there is set AI loadout. Now if I were to run a game, he would use that one. Now of course that's the one I have set up for him, so I'm going to put him back to that. And then what you can do here in this, you can edit your HQ base. You can pick which map, if someone were to attack your squad, what map do you want them to have to play on? Now, of course, you could set up for a map that was all wide open here, like the Stonehaven, and give everybody long-range rifles and stuff. That may help out. I honestly don't know if that makes a big difference or not yet. I haven't played enough, but in theory, it should. So that's a, a tactic you'd use. Uh, the HQ game mode, that's important. Um, you want to go in here, and you can pick, when somebody challenges you, what type are they going to play? Most people currently have it as Team Deathmatch. So I set it as Crank, just so it'd be something different. Um, you can set this squad order here. Now you can have up to three or four, five, six people on your team challenging other squads. Now what'll happen is it'll bump this guy Kang out of here first. As you see from the bottom, it goes, it works its way up. If I went Kennedy go in here, I could move him. Uh, you know, let's see here, I can move him down. So Bowen, if someone else were to come in, Bowen would not play at this point. Burnett would but I like Bowen to play. Kang I don't have actually set up, so we'll leave him there, and that's the easiest one to be replaced. And the squad leader, of course, being the GOAT. You can change the name of your squad. You can see I have the Billy Goats, because that humors me. And you can see here the reports that you have of, I've been attacked, I think, three times. One, two, three, four times. And my squad is lost every time. That one was a complete slot of there and that one was pretty close these ones weren't too bad but you can see you're earning XP bonus times in those now this one here challenge match what's that about you'll notice that's the undead hog what he did is he went up here to squad assault and he said okay I want to challenge a friend he found me in the list here selected me and I was gonna look for undead hog where he at there he is I could then challenge him and I'll go up against his squad. You'll see the squad there. And those are all his players and how he's named them. I'm going to back out of here real quick so you don't have to... We're not going to go in and play right now. You can, again, once you're in here, if you go to find match, that'll just give you a random match playing against a random squad in however they have their defense set up. You can see your leaderboards for squad assault. And currently I'm beating the hog, which is awesome. And that's another reason I'm doing the video is so I can brag. Uh, he does have a better ratio than I do, but I do have a better score. And that's really all that matters because that's what they're counting, and I'm going to count it now because I can't. Uh, safeguard is the other mode where it is the wa waves of enemies that you have to defend against. 
Uh, a few of us have played that a few times. It's an interesting game mode. I bet it could be a lot of fun with uh, four or five buddies, um, allowing you to go in and just defend against waves of enemies coming in. I've made it through the max wave, I think, one time. It was pretty neat. Uh, we'll probably do a video covering that here in a little while. And you can get back in and create your soldier, of course, and mess with it. And, again, find match. Now, squad versus squad, you're going to go head-to-head -head with another player against their squad. So I would say I'm going to play Hog, and we would go in and play a game mode, and it's directly against him head-to-head. -head. Safeguard, of course, is, as I mentioned, the waves of enemies. And war games allow you just to, you and your squad to go into bots. Um, and you can have your buddies play, too. And that's just AI, any AI at any place. Um, so let's do a squad assault here. And I'm going to say challenge friend. And since you're watching, and there's really not much more to cover on it, we'll film one here where I am going to go ahead and attack Hog's squad delta, you see, listed there. We can see the squad compare. I uh, don't have much time to look at it, but he's uh, the MVPs there, the two best ones. And he's only got, I think, big time is the last one he actually had set up. And he left it at the defaults, where he defaulted to this map, and playing Team Deathmatch. He hasn't really messed with it much, but that's what makes it fun to, of course, to attack him. And because he doesn't know I'm making this video, it makes it even more fun. So we're going to go in there, and he usually plays as the Hog, so if we can go ahead and mow him down, it'll be awesome. Now this currently is my favorite build, using the Mark 14 EBR, it's one of the marksman rifles, but I didn't like the scope, I've never been a, I don't like the reduced uh, field of view, so I put the iron sights on it, and as I mentioned in previous videos, silencers are really great, because everybody's paying a whole lot of attention to their uh, mini-map right now, because of the increased amount of different intel gathering things. So, let's see here. I don't get murdered right away. Somebody's shooting out there. I oh, can't see him. Come on. Nice. You can hear someone coming. They're downstairs. They were. Some field orders out there. Feeling if I go get them, I'm going to get mowed down. I was. Oh, from behind. See, there's a marksman. Waiting in the weeds. Okay, dirty campers on Hog's team. I probably looked right at him and didn't see him. So you feel free to mock me for not being able to see that guy. I'll watch it later and be embarrassed. A little bit of kick at range. There we go. My aim is not the best yet. This is only the second game I played tonight. Now what I'm going to do is I do love this thing here too. That's the IED. Works like a little trip mine. Um, it just beeps and explodes and then you can put it in choke points. Oh, you hear somebody running by. Headshot. There's somebody else. Oh, friend man. Teammate found him. See, I'm even looking over at the minimap right now to see where I'm not finding people at. Get him back there? He did. Go back around here. Somebody's out front, I hear him. Nope. There he is. Grenades are bad. Let's see if that draws him in. Get him outside. Where are you at? Flashing in the water down there. Friendly SATCOM active. Oh, come on. Give me a little love. There we go. The hit detection is very unforgiving. You really better be aiming at them. The hit boxes are very tight, I think, as compared to Black Ops 2. And these are two shot kills at most ranges. Oh, I got away. Somebody's downstairs, though. Oh, I missed him. Get him, dog. Martyr dog got him. I thought he went past. The important part is I'm still winning, even though I'm not playing the greatest. Now, of course, Hog did destroy my team, but I have to pay him back by destroying his. That's only fair. That hit somebody. Friendly SATCOM active. Oh! 
Could have killed him earlier, dog. I swear. I have to have a little talk with this dog in his training. Good save. Get out of here. They ought to be coming. I probably should switch the pistol. Dog's mauling people. We're winning this fight. Good boy. Good boy. Now my dog is looking at me strange in the house. It's not important. Where'd everybody go? Now you also, on these, you don't play the full length, which is actually kind of nice. You only play to 50. Jeez, I thought I had him, so I stopped shooting. You know, oh, shoot. You don't want to go that way. IED sticks to things, too. Oh, the dog got him. Where'd they all go? But you notice that marksman guy was sitting in the back. It's another feature of the AI. However you lay him out, it will play like that. There, we killed the hog. That's important. Go over and teabag him. Should I go over and teabag him? Kind of late. Which, by the way, if you get in orders that says to humiliate your next killed enemy, come over here and crouch over him. Teabag. Three points. You knife my friend. Let's put that in the middle. You really want to hide those, generally speaking, but... Game's almost over, so I don't care too much. Did I see something back there? I did not. Sounds like all the fun's going on in here. But she must have killed him. Alright. Any map shows everybody behind me. Must be the any of the enemies are this way. Let's go up the stairs. I do like the new mantling. Looks very smooth. Very nice. Everybody's reloading. What are you all shooting at? Oops, somebody's coming. I hear him. Oh, there's another one. Oh, shit. Oh! Only got one shot off. Where's the dog? There, we got him. I like to not resurrect until I respawn, I'm sorry. Until after the dog killed somebody. That way... We'll end the round. That way... I feel like the dog hangs in that area, because once you respawn, he comes running back to you. So I'll hang out there and let the dog do his thing. There's a finishing round, and we beat Hog. Went 20-4, and four, not bad. And we beat Hog, and that's really what's important. That's the end of the round, and you'll see you do gain some XP. Um, there is actually an XP cap I didn't manage to hit at that time. But uh, there is an XP cap allowed in squads, and that is actually important. You know, it's it's handy. It balances things so people can't just level up a ton in squads. Uh, there's a, a limit you can get each round, so that's nice. Now, if he were to go to squad reports, he'll see one in here for getting a defeat from me, and you'll see that it was a challenge match versus these ones are just random. And the random ones are what actually net you the 30 minutes of bonus XP, where the challenge matches you see between friends don't and I think that's just a matter of again balance so that you don't just keep challenging your friends and just keep earning maximum XP between each other which hey that's cool but that is the basics of the squad systems and when you do these squad assault and things like that if you make a party and have your friend in with you then you can actually go in and it'll just bump out the guy bump out the guy at the bottom of that list as we saw in the squad HQ setup for the set squad order so if Hog and I went to play, Kang would not go. It'd be Bo and A, Sneaky Bear, Herbis and, I, and uh, us two. So that's actually handy because Kang is the most expensive. You know, that's the one that costs $100 to unlock, and he's still sitting there at the very basic setup. But I hope that covers everything for the basics of the squad assault and squads in general and why you'd want to rename people and rename your squad just so it's more personalized and pick your map to be a little more tactical and see if you can get a win. Um... If you have any more questions about squads or if there's anything else that you'd like me to cover, let us know and uh, we'll record something for you or just answer a question if it's straightforward. Give us a like if it's something handy. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more content here and uh, have a good one.